Hi there, guys. Welcome to the EMEA League recap. Here we're going to go over the, all the teams that actually made it in and a little bit of a breakdown of what actually happened over the EMEA League because it was one of the tightest leagues around. People were wild in, in this league. We had some fantastic teams coming in. World of Wonders, obviously, in those initial throws of the tournament, got 168 points, just 12 points behind Na'Vi at 180 in league play. Unfortunately, we didn't actually see them step up into the finals, as we'll see here as we move into some of the overall standings. So here is the first page. You've got Na'Vi there, sat right at the top, 268 points. They were so far ahead of everyone else. You know, Clans Game Esports coming in second with 225. Class guy and the ESOS kind of went underneath the radar for us in the finals. They kind of did what we expected them to, perform to the levels we wanted them to. There were two teams that didn't do that though. Kanina Power and Godsent making their way up to third and fourth. We thought it was all over for Kanina Power once Na'Vi dropped on them in the final game, preventing them from getting those final points. Luckily, we got some changes happening to the tournament and into GC, so Kanina Power, they will be going forward into those top spots. As you can see down the leaderboard, Blaze Esports making a good run for it in the finals, and Marine Force DE in the last moment, throwing into the finals, getting an eighth place is pretty damn good. Heading on to the next page here, you have Alliance. We thought they'd do fantastically well only 150 points their rotations were on point and we expect to see them in the future what a wonders there in 12th place so something horrific happened during this uh very sad for them going down with 100 points still not a bad run it got better towards the end but they need to clean up their act a little bit but i'm sure we'll see them in the future as well so really good stuff there from all the teams making their way in but this league was really really crazy and i think the main thing to take away from the emir league is that the rotations were so good these teams knew exactly what to do at what moment and one team that knew that better than the rest was navi we're going to take a quick look at their map performance here just because look at this damage over the board every single map that average damage is over 1k and in the finals alone they were putting up some ridiculous numbers you see there they dropped in top four four times five times four times three times you don't see that very often usually one team has one map that they excel on but here navi shows us that you know what they can excel absolutely everywhere um the only map they really struggled on too much was Miramar with only five average placements but everywhere else they were hitting pretty good strides in there and you can see our angle is our biggest pool to look from with 14 games total 6.5 average points still head and shoulders above absolutely everyone else now let's take a quick look at the MVP leaderboard because we saw some absolute ridiculous ridiculous players coming to this finals who are really stepping up in those last moments so let's take a quick look at the players who actually showed up the most and you can see there old boy right at the top and for a good reason too this guy was 71 kills so this man was eight kills ahead of anyone else in the lobby and 11,000 damage total you did see tixie towards the end trying to catch up to him but it was actually signless who slips into second place from class game esports and for good reason too that team was putting up the numbers even in those last moments when they only had two or three members up they were we're still getting those big points, making it towards the end of the game, stealing those kills. Bandita there from Team 1218, actually hitting into fourth place, not doing too badly. And Sala from Araculi in fifth. So really, really happy with that one. But the main takeaway here is, look at this, three players from Na'Vi overall. There was one other team though, that we need to take a quick look at that we haven't talked about too much here and that is godsend just because this was a team that kind of came out of nowhere from the league play into the finals you can see here their week one was pretty damn good week two a little bit worse here and then in week three they really step it up back to their week one form and they come out swinging in the finals so really good stuff for, for them i'm really really happy with what we saw from godsend it was a lot of improvement going down and they had these really interesting drop spots where they would drop really really split and then kind of coalesce together a little bit later so really really well done to them and you can expect to see some more interesting stuff from them going to the global championships so don't miss it 
And here are your final four teams. So we'll be heading over to GC. You've got Na'Vi, Class Game Esports, Godsent, and Kanina Power, who will be heading to represent the EMEA League at the Global Championship. So make sure to cheer for them if you are a fan of the EMEA League. My name is Blank, and that is your recap of the EMEA League as a whole. I'll catch you guys later, probably at GC. Have a good one. There you go, you said it right. This is maybe where the pitch will be happening. Outplay's got a great angle on Zach on board. They're going to be picking up the bite, picks up one. Can he go for the double? Yes, he can. Outplay. Outplay in the competition of 30 18. This Western side is getting clustered in Pyramid. Not many teams will come out alive to tell the tale. Oh, Marley with the shots on the Pyramid Filler. Looking to punish that initial. I want to over push over that lip so far because they know they're going to be pressured down by Kanina. But that grenade off Reese, it looks good. It looks oh, awesome. No, no. When it connected, does get himself one kill confirmed off the Hanko. But they're still trying to pull off that res. And another grenade. Oh, wow, yes, it does indeed. The Harbour, here it is. Back on over to the fight on the next game, Universal Snake Squad. Who will be the better team in quarry of them all? Fight him in. Gonna go for the spray with a barrel. Oh my god, he's going for the jump shot over. That was so risky.